Okay. Sound is on now. I hung my head in shame. You you just often can you not read my lips by now? Um, I'm really sorry. Anyway, I had one button for sound on, but not the other one. There's two okay. buttons, and now I've got to turn myself down here as well. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> you couldn't um couldn't I couldn't possibly plan plan this. I promise you. Oh um oh yes, a maker's blooper video. That's exactly it. Um, Steffi, you need to make a video of all bloopers during lockdown. I don't think I could. Honestly, I can't. I know it's very funny for you, but for me, I just feel like a complete um, idiot half the time. I'm just waiting for my cup of tea because you all um, were talking about your cups of tea and I realized I left mine in the kitchen. But, aha, here it is. I don't think it's very warm. Oh, thank you. Oh, tea. There. Okay, the world's a better place now that um, I've got my cup of tea and I'm just going to start over again. And Emma, can you edit out the first bit, please? It's just... Anyway, distracting from bloopers. I'll tell you my worst bloopers in case you haven't seen it yet. But that was last um, that was last week on Friday on um, on Facebook when I, when I um, didn't realise it was live. And yeah, it was bad. Really bad. I wasn't very happy just to say the least anyway let's move on from that it's all about colors and butterflies and um and happy times and so who gives the toss whether i make the odd blooper or two and um i, I try so hard but it doesn't always work so little handwoven pet blanket is coming up yes thank you emma um what else don't give me any more tasks. That would be something for me to edit into a compilation. <laughs> yes, Emma, all the bloopers. No, no, please don't do that. I could. I don't think I could. I could survive it. Um, yes, and no sound. But we have sound now. About a demo of the rubber brush. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Da da. I've got it. Um, that's the brush mat. No, that is the brush that cleans your mat. That's what I meant to say. So if you um, have one of our earth, oh, this isn't dirty now. Um, anyway, when, when I say dirty, I mean like massively con um, um, contaminated with fibers. Um, have I got one that has got more fibers on it? Maybe this one, a bit more. I'll zoom in a bit so that um, you can see what this does. So basically you have this brush mat, this brush, no, a brush mat is something else. This brush, it's got rubber bristles. And if you stroke it like this across the mat, it picks up fibers that are pushed into the mat. And then you can see, you can just sort of collect them off here. And if you've got a, um, the, you can even use the side, which is um, sort of a flat piece of the, um, of that brush and it picks the fibers up as well now you don't see much coming off because I haven't actually they're quite clean I think I must have cleaned them before um, you're never gonna get them completely white again it's virtually impossible but this is a good way to um, to sort of can you see how these um, fibers are getting brushed off there they are and then you can just pick them up some people reuse them actually I've heard some people don't so that's it basically. So this works especially well with our earth friendly felting mat, which if you need reminding, um, it comes in a set of two and you get um, the soft top, which is 100% wool. And actually, as you use the two on top of the other, they do felt together, which is rather nice. And then the bottom one is a 70% um, a wool, 30% man-made fiber, but the it acts as a break. So when you stab the needle into it, the top one is get lets it through quite easily and then the the base one uh, stops it from hitting the table so it acts as a break so you don't ever right get through the um, the base one and um the top one you can we can replace either of them if you want to the base one i don't think anybody ever had to replace that yet but with the top one you could just add another layer on the top if you wanted to if you um there, lay another one on top. Um, you could build sandwiches of um, of earth mats on top of each other. Um, we do they we do do them in quite a few sizes now, so um, that that's quite good as well. That you can 
have your little travel one to take away, then you've got a bigger size for maybe smaller projects and a larger one for um, really big projects. So this is quite a good a good mat to um, to have. But I'm here to make butterflies. So today um, is kind of nearing the end of our fifth birthday. We've had all June where we've um, put special offers out. We launched our advent calendars. We have got very, very few left. Just in case you're still dithering, go and buy them because they will be gone, I would think, within the next week. Um, we have sent you butterfly packs these they were not made into butterflies yet but you got the wool and the pipe cleaner to make them with a free instruction on the back of our newsletter and you will have all had different um, colored wool um, according to whatever potluck was pushed in the bag and you got it so i will show you how to make these butterflies sorry i've got fluff up my nose now and um the wool tops that you might have had is our pastel rainbow it's just so nice people often um, call it unicorn as well and then you might have had our berries these are all the space dyed ones space dyed wool tops means that the color runs sideways and that um that's like a really quite a, a special way of dyeing um long strands of wool um then you might have had our flower garden this one oh no that's our rainbow actually that's the rainbow obviously got all the colors of the rainbow this is the flower garden really lovely bright colors there but that's the sunset nice oranges and um, yellows and this is the Cornish seaside with greens and purples and blues and um, I just thought I'd show you that you can of course use just plain color um, wool tops as well they don't have to be multicolored. it's just that we love colors and then you will have also had a length of pipe cleaner um, to um, to make the body of the butterfly out of. And so I will show you what the, the simplest version of the butterfly is first of all. So first of all, let's, um, ooh, let's start with this nice color. If you need to um, tear wool tops apart, because you can buy these from us in 50 gram portions or more, then um, trying to do this is not going to work. Using the scissors is a crime. Do not do that, please because you want the ends to be nice and fuzzy like that, not straight, because then you don't know where you've got long fibers and where you've got short fibers and it just sort of falls apart. To um, separate the wool tops, instead of tearing it like that, where it, you're just basically fighting the fibers, this way you're letting the fibers slither away. So it's a natural thing and it doesn't need a lot of force. They just sort of like separate and they slither away from each other and then you can separate the strands. And so you've got two here now. And uh, to make a butterfly, you basically need a pipe cleaner length. Where have they gone? I've buried them. There. Um, if you want to make a, a relatively small butterfly, then you could use one third of the pipe cleaner. So something like that, if you will have given the right um, length and I'm using my pliers. Everybody knows I use scissors, it's terrible. I, I should have a set of pliers, but I never I never bring them down. Don't tell anybody. Right, there's my um, pipe cleaner. And all I'm going to do now is I have my um, length of wool. I'm going to fold the ends inward into the center. So like that, so that you've got, if you hold it, pinch it in the middle, You've got nice round loops on either side. It looks a little bit messy from the other side, but from this side, it looks nice and neat. And then all you're going to do is you're folding your pipe cleaner around the middle like that. So you're trapping the loose ends. You're trapping them now here. And then you just, all you need to do is twist these two pipe cleaner ends around a couple of times and they form the antennae of your butterfly and then the rest of the pipe cleaner is the body. Now you can leave it like this if you want. You can tease the um, the two sides of the wings apart so that it looks like a four-winged butterfly like this. You can make it pointy by twisting the top and the bottom into pointy ends and you can leave it like that if you wish or you can lay the whole thing down like that and I'm going to go a bit smaller I turn it that way around and you can needle felt it 
So whether that is with a single needle, it takes quite a while if you do that because you've got a nice um, surface there, but you can just felt it flat like this. So you don't, you don't lose the color, but you, you, you lose the, the sort of soft, um, whisperish type of, um, I don't know, definition of the wool. You can see this, this is felted down, this is still soft. And of course, whatever you're felting flat, you're gonna have to lift off the mat because you're fastening it on inevitably. So you can felt it down and make it into um, a more solid shape. You can continue doing that. Um, as I said, you can use your multi-tool. I do love using um, the prim tool, which I know is here. There we are. So the prim tool, just to remind everybody, it comes without the needles. In fact, that hasn't got the needles in it. So where's the one with the needles? Ah, there. This is what it looks like when you buy it, no needles. And then when you put the needles in, it looks like this. You have to take um, the um, handle out of the protective cover and then you push that in that way give it a bit of a push and then you can use that that speeds your work up massively so that works really well if you're using this for needle felting there and then of course as before you just have to lift it off you can also use the three needle felting tool which um, looks like that. Use that. Works fast as well. And if you want to, you can use your seven needle felting tool. I don't mind using it on this mat, but some people prefer using it on a brush mat. And if you um, have often wondered what this brush mat is for, then you know it now. There you go. And that way you can give it a nice smooth surface. A lot of you have been needle felting your uh, subscription butterflies with this tool. And so I'm just gonna show it to you. So if you felt it down, it becomes quite flat. There you go. If you keep it soft and wispy, it looks a little bit more fluffy and ethereal if you like. Um, I'll show it a little bit closer up like this as well. So this side is felt, no, this side is unfelted and this side is felted. So you can see the difference of, of the two sides, notwithstanding that this one has got a bit more yellow in, but I think that adds to the charm. And um, so it's entirely up to you how you want to make your um, butterfly. I'm just gonna felt the other side down as well so that it's the same. Again, whichever tool you prefer, um, the earth mud. To me, it works fine here, um, lift that off, try that, all of the, I'm using all of the tools so you can see what you can be making and um, let's use the three needle felting tool as well, nice crunchy, crunch therapy, that's what I call that noise when it goes in there. Or the prim tool, especially if you need to hold it with your hand over the handle, because sometimes um, not, every, not all of us have got the dexterity in our fingers to hold it like that. You might have to hold it with your hand cupped over the handle. Works really well. It's got seven needles, and um, the um, the one the needle felting prim tool also has got a single needle that you can take out any time to do single needle tool um, work. Remember, it doesn't come with the needles. It's one of my favorites, favorite tools and I think everybody should have one of those. And, um, and so now the other side has been felted down as well. There you go. So now it's, it looks the same. It's such an easy way to make a butterfly. And um, I'm gonna make quite a few today. I've got a sneeze now. <coughs> Excuse me, that's the fluff up my nose. Um, I'm going to make quite a few today because I want to um, decorate this lovely branch here um, with butterflies. And I think that's just one way of decorating. Or you could, um, I found a stick out and you could just hang lots of them off the stick 
um, into a mobile. So that's a, a, maybe an idea for a nursery or just to brighten up your room. I'm just going to put that the other way around so that I don't have the needles exposed and put my hand in there accidentally. So I'm going to repeat the whole process of making butterflies. There he is. Lovely. And, um, and bright. And I, I add a few tricks into it as well. But before I'm going to continue to make the next one, we actually sell this lovely sparkly thread, um, which I'm trying to find the beginning because I've, it's brand new. I've just picked it off the shelf, basically. Um, this is a beginning, but I think that's the end. Oh, come on, beginning. Where are you? You can all hear me now, right? I think everybody's with me. I will um, show it all, all of this again. There is the beginning. So, um, right, there we go. So there's the um, really, it's a really, it's like an iridescent, um, lovely sort of um, string, not string, um, thread. And you can just cut a piece off and then just th um, thread a needle onto it. It's quite a big needle. And then you can thread it through the pipe cleaner here at the back. And then you literally have your butterfly suspended in the air. You can move that string forward to get the um, gravity working elsewhere, wherever, however you want the butterfly, whether he's um, going level or whether he's um, rising up into the air or whether he is going down, whichever way you want him to be, you can have him um, the way you want him to be. And then just, oops, that didn't hold that knot. Try that again. through the loop I couldn't believe that the um, change in temperature from um, last week to this week feels like we're going back into winter now so there you are there's one butterfly um, nicely uh, swinging around at the moment and I've got time to do loads more I'm just gonna have a little look what people are um, saying and what they're um, asking maybe questions that I can answer Oh God, I've got the butterfly in front of me now. This isn't good. I'm just going to move my phone over a bit. There. Right. So, um, oh, thank you, Emma. Emma loves me. Um, oh, who's, we're going to have to learn to lip read. <laughs> yes, definitely. You're going to have to learn not just to lip read. You're going to have to learn to lip read a German accent as well. That's going to be funny. Oh, God, it's a laugh a minute. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, she's phoning the office now. Yes, you did phone the office and Sarah came in and then that was good because I got I could get my um, cup of tea. Oh, sorry, I'm not going back to all the comments of my of my blooping bloopers. Um, so Alex says, hi, Steffi, love watching you, finding out you have been talking to yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I am watching on the TV, so can't always join in chat. Oh, thank you, Alex. Yeah, I, I like talking to myself. It's fun. I do it on purpose. Lizzie says, Emma, you need to make Steffi a, a cheat sheet. Oh, Alicia says, Steffi, it makes us all smile, so don't worry. We love seeing you, and it makes these boring days fun. Oh, thank you, Alicia. Um, no editing, Emma, please. Oh, Oh, I do feel loved now. Yeah, rubber brush demo. I, d I did that. Um, Hannah needs one. Okay. I don't know who Hannah is. Wow, big brush. Um, I see now. Thanks, Steffi, for the demo. You can all hear me now, right? Because somebody just says no sound. Still? Surely not. Oh, I love my earth mat. Oh, I hope I get those gift certificates for my birthday to buy an earth mat. Yoo-hoo! And a brush. It on. Advent calendars are brilliant. Thank you, Diane. Diane says, yes, got butterflies gift pack. Thank you. Alicia says, I have seven. Alicia, what does that tell us about you? You just buy lots from us. Oh, thank you. Anyway, you can never buy it to, enough from us. Space Dyed Marina Tops, um, there's the link for you. Emma has put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. I still need to get Sunset. Oh, I love Sunset. Donna says, I got two in my different orders and both were the Cornish Seaside. Beautiful. Oh, that, that was potluck that you both got the same. And um, Diane um, is laughing. 
Lizzie says, I kind of went overboard with my orders this month. I think I got four butterfly kits. Oh, let's just see who's got, who's had the low, the most. I think Alicia might definitely be heading up that um, competition. Diane says, I have two. Lynn says, using my new earth mat for the first time. Excellent. Alicia says, jealous Lynn, what size did you get? And um, Lynn also says, I ordered my advent calendar. Excellent. And she's got the A5 one. The A5 one is that size here. Everybody knows what A5 is, but in case you need to see it, what it looks like. Sometimes you just need to see the, the size. Um, and I had to put my electric blanket on in the bed last night. Yeah, I don't blame you, Alicia. It was flipping freezing. And Helen says Hannah is Helen's granddaughter. Oh, thank you, Helen. Somebody's banging now. Can you all hear this? I can't believe it. Um, Helen says we have six. Okay, seven with Alicia. She's leading, and then um, Helen has got six. Let's let's just make some more, and um, and see how we get on with this. So we've we've used the um, the, the um, sunset. Let's um, oh let's do a Cornish seaside as as Donna has got two. So again, you take it doesn't really matter. You can use a whole long strand, but I think they look nicer um, and they're probably not so floppy if you use less. So I'm just um, gently let these fibers split apart, separate. And um, I'm using this one. It's going to be quite a big one if I use it as it is. So I might just split a little bit off. And all I've done is with the first one that I showed you, I fold in these wispy ends into the center fold the other one in as well and that's where i pinch it in the middle so that these wispy ends are now held tight so you're seeing the back of this now and then i use my pipe cleaner and this time i'm trying to show you something else if you uh, want to add oh this wool really gets up my nose sorry i'm gonna sit here with a bright red nose for the rest of oh dear so if you want to do a different um, a different thing, you can bend the pipe cleaner around and um, and just leave it open at the top for the minute and then get your antennae, which I'll put somewhere safely. There. I'm just going to put this down here on the mat. Get a set of antennae. I'm, I'm using our black ones. We have um, much more delicate ones um, than these black ones. But these black ones seem to be um, more in proportion with the butterfly. And you can trap this in here, twist the pipe cleaner like that, and then bend the pipe cleaner back down the down the body so that you actually, you are now creating um, pipe um, antennae that are sticking out on top of the butterfly like this. And now you can either felt it down. I'm just going to go a bit closer up again. And pull that a bit here so you can now either split the um i nearly said the leaves i mean the um wings so that you're separating the wings and turning them into four you can keep them round so it's a time to adjust the butterfly as well um or you can make them pointy by just twisting the top bits like that twisting the bottom bits like that there and then you can felt it down if you want to or you can leave it like that it's entirely up to you if you're felting it down a multi-tool works really fast if you if you need to build up speed because you want to make lots you don't need to felt them solid solid you can just give them a few stabs there so easy to do that or you can just leave them if you want to. You can just leave them really nice and fluffy. Um, that that is an, an, your choice entirely. Um, whichever way you want, whatever you want to do. If you're felting them down, they probably stay um, looking nice for a bit longer because you've got a you've, you've they're holding together more. The others might, in time, get a bit more. Um, I don't know, worn. And you just you just felt it. You don't need to felt it on both sides. You can if you want to. Just remember to lift it off the mat because they do get. So that's the other side. You can decide which side you like like better as well. Um, if you're hanging it up and it spins around, then you inevitably um, meant probably bound to see both sides. And once that is felted, then all you do is lift it off there. I quite like this side. Adjust the antennae here. 
and then you can just use um, your needle with the sparkly thread cut a bit off thread that onto your needle and then all you need to do is stick it into um, the butterfly behind the pipe cleaner that you've put in there and then pull it through so that uh, you've got a single thread running through it and then put a knot on it and then just have a look how oh it's a bit stiff this thread so um, it's a bit it sort of um, doesn't want to be bent and so when you try and tie a knot it sort of refuses but it might just be my thick fingers today and then once you've got that in there then you can see how you want to um, have the butterfly which direction you want it pointing and um, off it goes oh sorry sorry guys that was the <laughs> <laughs> What's the wrong button? <laughs> it's only like a millimeter away from the one that I meant to press there. And then it can hang with the next one. So I'm going to work my way. Somebody said they want to see how I cut the wire. Now, I'm not entirely sure that you want to see whether I'm using wire cutters or scissors, but um, I'm going to uh, um, I'm going to risk it anyway. I will just cut it. And um, the way that I cut it, I'm just going to put them together safely again because I don't want to start screaming on the screen there's the um, pipe cleaners so you could um, I'd use a, a thinner one you can buy these pipe cleaners from us these only come in a set with other colors um, and um, I think most of these actually do but you can never have enough pipe cleaners for other for other things as well so um, the way that I, I'm using it I'm just cutting them okay and that's just how I do it so if you if you're precious about your scissors, then don't use it. Don't use them because they will make them blunt. Um, and then you sort of it's roughly one third, but I've managed actually to cut three completely different lengths here. And that's fine. And uh, let's use another color. Let's use this lovely um, um, pastel rainbow. Again, I'm just doing this really. I just do this really close because it's just so magical when these colors come apart. This is, it might look like I'm doing it with a force, but I'm not. I'm just pulling it very gently. Can you see? Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, do this over your cup of tea, Steffi, and you get lots of fluff in your tea. Look, not that nice? Love it. There. And um, same as before, I'm going to fold the middle in like that pinch it in the center, wrap pipe cleaner around it. I'm going to put another set of antennae on the here, on here. There. Trap the antennae literally between the pipe cleaners. Give these a twist and bend them down the body. There. So now I've got a butterfly with, um, with two real, well, not real, but you know what I'm talking about, two real antennae there there these two and now I can decide what to do with him I actually really like him like that I think I might just keep this one um, like that so use the thread cut it these are a really lovely gift um, if you if you make a um, if you wrap a gift up for somebody and you put one of those on the outside of the wrapper I remember that um, years and years ago when I um, before before I even knew Sophie, I was making these butterflies and I I um um I wanted to set up a, a craft shop, like a proper walk-in shop, and I got some business advice and, and the people said, Look, before you do anything serious, just set yourself up on a farmer's market and see what the response locally is because these are the people that you have to rely on. So I did that. And everybody who bought from me, I gave them a little butterfly like that. I made loads and loads just um, sat down in the evening and just made loads and gave one um, to everybody who bought something from me and years later people would still come and say I've still got the butterfly I've still got the butterfly sometimes these little gestures is all the encouragement that people need to um, to see that you actually you know you just love what you do it's not just about 
taking money. I'm going to use the berries space um, diet here now. Let's take a little bit off. Watch this. Ah, oh, so nice. I don't know if it um, looks as nice on, on the screen as here, but um, that's a really nice. I love this purple pink. Again, I'm going to go a bit closer again so you can see it from a different view now. I've got my um, piece of wool here. Fold the wisps in like that so they're they're now folded away and then when you pinch it pinch it in the middle that's when you trap the fibers take some more of these and I should just keep a few out I guess put a few here because I want to fill that branch with butterflies pinch it in the middle put your pipe cleaner around it like that so make sure that it looks nice and neat at least from one side Add the, um, the antennae in the center, twist the pipe cleaner and push it out of the way down the body so that it sort of melts into that part of the butterfly. And you just adjust the antennae to the top if you need to pull them up a bit. There. So there's the butterfly now. And again, I think he looks really nice like that. So um, this one, I'm just going to separate the wings a little bit to puff them up a bit there. I think that's a really lovely butterfly with the antennae here at the top. Um, you can felt it down. Maybe we should try that. Let's go a bit closer up again so you can see it better. So there's the antennae. You have to st uh, make sure that you don't um, step into the antennae. I quite like teasing the tops out of, um, a bit to so make the wings a bit more pointy at the bottom and at the top. can even leave it like that. You don't even need to felt it. It's entirely up to you how you want your butterfly um, to be finished. I'm just going to give that a few stabs. That, um, oh, I haven't put the top on. Definitely works better that way because you can hold it more comfortably in your hand. That um, Prim Multi-Tool is definitely amazing to um, to use for quick flat needle felting or building up speed on a larger surface. There you go. Looks nice, doesn't it? Take it off the mat. To peel it off gently. And here it is. Nice little butterfly done in absolutely no time. And again, I'm just going to cut a bit of um, that sparkly thread. Hook that into the top of the butterfly. So between the pipe cleaner and the body that um, you've trapped there between the... I should, shouldn't have to reach across. I've got it all on the wrong side. There. Put a knot on the top and here we go is another another butterfly ready to take off and be put onto that branch getting a nice selection here of butterflies I don't know if you can see them um, I've, I've put stuck some wool into the into the vase I think that looks really nice that looks really nice with the butterflies and you can see they're all swaying in the wind i think the next one i'm probably gonna um make a shorter a shorter thread i could put that there and then you can't see me anymore um i'm just gonna put that back here onto the side so you can just about see it and i'll put the wool somewhere else because that's just there in the way now, the other thing I will show you is that they don't have to be hanging butterflies. They can also be um, little brooches. But before I do that, I'm just going to have a little look at what people are saying. Right. Um, so, sparkly thread. Thank you. Emma's put the sparkly thread um, link onto the... Uh, comments here. Um, oh, Lizzie says my four sets were all different. So you got four sets of the butterflies. That's amazing. 
Um, yes, I can hear back. <laughs> it stopped now. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> God knows what they do while I'm down here. Donna says, the earth mats are the best invention ever. I got mine in January and it is fantastic. No dents or holes or bumps in it yet. And I use it lots and lots and lots. Thank you, Donna. I know you use it lots because this is so many of your lovely creations. Diane says, I've got the Cornish sunrise and such vibrant colors. So we've got the Cornish seaside and we've got the um, we've got the sunrise. The Cornish seaside is this one that has got um, like blues and purples and greens and that sort of color running through it. And the sunrise is is literally. Um, it's actually called sunset. I don't know why I'm calling it sunrise. We have no sunset. Sunrise. It's sunset. Sunset. Sunset and Cornish seaside. Dear, oh dear, we're making up um, these names as we as we um, go, um, go on. Um, Emma says my cat Rama got into bed with my dad this morning as the temperature has dropped so much. So very sweet that he did this for the first time with my dad on his birth. Oh, a birthday cuddle. Oh, that's nice. Um, Donna says even when you use the brush mat to clean to clean it there is always a few fibers left behind but they stick to the mat and don't cross con contaminate your next project love 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 the mats oh thank you Donna you're very kind um happy birthday Emma dad <laughs> Lizzie says oh that's lovely my cat is always giving me snotty kisses he gets jealous of my husband have a lovely day Emma's daddy oh that's nice could Use the cord from your parcel to hang them. You could, absolutely. They might be might be a bit heavy, um, like looks might look a little bit coarse compared to the delicate, delicate butterflies. But yeah, I think that's a good idea. Alicia says, oh, Donna, good idea. I'm making a mobile out of mine. Well, use that idea. Excellent. Um, Diane says, yeah, yay, another blooper. Oh, dear. What was the blooper again? I've forgotten now. On the directions, it shows making the end look like a ball on the pipeline. Ah, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I show you that as well. Um, Steffi, can you also show us how you can trim the fluffy pipeline to make um, antenna too? Yes, I will show you that too. My kitten just stole my fluffies. Hubby chased her down. <laughs> That's what Mo says. Alicia says, I see now, Emma. I opened another pack of the pipe cleaner. was fluffy and the others haven't been. Now it makes sense. Um, Lizzie says, oh, butterflies with beaded wire bodies. Oh, that's nice. Nice idea, says Lizzie. Um, that uh, says Emma to Lizzie. Please make some and post them in everyone a maker, please. Everyone a maker, in case you don't know that. I'm I'm sure um the ones who are watching live, they all have heard me say this zillions of time. We have got a Facebook group called Everyone a Maker, which um you can um join and um where we invite you to share your makes um um that are based on the ideas, the products, and the books and inspiration from the makers and and um and then you can join our happy place so um hopefully you've all got your mugs at the ready with um because the tea tastes extra good i'm just gonna have a quick zip yes brooches or hair accessories see yeah, i'm gonna come to brooches um alex says i have two cornish blue and one sunset excellent Diane says it's the Cornish blue I have and love the purple. Great. So let's um, have a look at how you could um, modify your fluffy pipe cleaners. If you've got these fluffy pipe cleaners, they have like, um, um, they're, they're thicker than these. So quite quite a bit. You can actually turn the end of that fluffy pipe cleaner into, um, into um, antennae as well. I'm going to start with a new one because... Um, I need it a little bit longer because you, you need, um, so I'm this one I'm cutting in half now with my scissors and um, what you do is and I'm going to go a bit smaller now so you can see it close up again so you basically use the pipe cleaner and you you give your um, your scissors and you give the pipe cleaner a bit of a trim but on the sides so you just cut into the fluff going all the way around but not all the way to the top because the top is what stays fluffy and it looks like a like a, a little sort of bobble on top which is what makes the pipe cleaner and um, the which makes it look like an um, an area because you've got the bo the bobbles at the top so that's how you get um, a, a, an impression of having a skinny bit here and then a um, fluffier bit here the best it works is once you wrap it around your around your butterfly. I'm going to go for the um, flower garden here. 
just take a bit off. Ooh, look at that. So once you bend, I bend this side in and that side in, and then I put the pipe, uh, pipe cleaner around the body. It's just so that you know how far down you've got to trim it. So I'm going to give that a bit of a twist, make that body a bit bigger because that's quite a big butterfly. Spread it out a bit more. So you give it a twist and um, you can still trim the pipe cleaner once it's already on the butterfly. So you can see this side here, this one here is um, already the right shape and then the other side I, I need to trim. So I'm literally just separating. You can bend the pipe cleaner other one out of the way and you're going all the way along that stretch all the way down but you're keeping the top fluffy so you're you're just trimming along the pipe cleaner if you don't if you want um sort of an impression of aerial and get make the pipe cleaner less fluffy then um you can do that and then you have a butterfly that has got sort of two bobbly bits here at the top and um, and then you can shape it however you want there and uh, you can turn these into uh, brooches of course and we all know what's going to come next because I'm going to um, show you the magic brooch pins now which I have got here and it looks like that there um, it's not a safety pin. I, I know um, when, when we say these are our magic brooch pins, people often say, well, actually, that's just a safety pin. It is kind of a safety pin. You could probably use it as a safety pin, but it hasn't got a coil around that uh, bend bit, which means that if you put it into... Oh, look, that looks nice from both sides. It's actually quite different. If you um, thread it through the pipe cleaner here, and um, and then swivel it round so that the I don't know if you saw that but you can swivel it around that bendy bit so that when you open it you've actually got the bit that attaches to you sticking up and where you would normally sew on a brooch pin is fastened inside the body of the of the butterfly and if you want to do that then you can quite easily just pin it onto you like you would with a um, brooch brooch and wear it so you can have um, a nice a nice butterfly brooch um, again this might be something really nice if you wanted to um, to maybe put this on a card um, if you if it's an if it's a birthday or a special occasion and um, and then you can put the safety pin not safety pin but the magic brooch pin in there and um, and then people can either wear it or not they can decide what to do but it's it decorates a card but it also at the same time decorates a person afterwards so um what better thing to do oh i've got two the same here now look twins so i'm going to felt these down because i do want to add them um to my branch here and um the fastest way i've found now is by using this prim multi-tool i'm leaving the wings round on this one just for a change step that down and um, of course if you um, make a mobile you could add other um, things onto it we've got a free bee tutorial these might be nice um, or maybe you've got other things that can like flowers you could add flowers into it um, they quickly made need my thread and I'm just going to keep this a bit shorter now. Needle onto it. I also think the butterflies go really well with um, the fairy fairy kits that we do. The subscription boxes or if you buy the um, kit individually. Whatever you prefer. God, this is really short now. Put a knot on there. And then it's ready to join the others. There we are. So that one could go here. There you are. Another butterfly joined 
in there. And um, the other thing that you can do is you could actually uh, turn these into fairy wings, of course. So if you had a, um, if you have a fairy, this is this is by the way July's fairy, which is the um, the wild rose fairy. She has got um, little Angelina fiber wings there. But if I um, if I just deprive her of her wings for a minute, just take these off gently. Sorry, never never tear wings off a fairy. That's a really cruel thing to do. And um, you could you could I'm just gonna sit you there for a minute. It's all right. They're magic wings and they can be attached very easily again. If you want to match up a color, maybe that um, that berries looks really nice. Just gonna give her some nice fairy wings now. You could just um, do exactly what I just what we did by um, using the wool tops. Now you have a choice. You can add, add the pipe cleaner if you want to, or you could just have it um, like that and split it. You could stab it down in the middle a bit, just so that you've got a and you know what you're going for. So you can make fairy wings with the same wool. This is like making a, a bodiless butterfly, like a bow tie at the moment. So I'm just defining the center a little bit. So I've got I've got this here like that now. And then again, you can just tease that apart, give the top and the bottom a little bit of a twist. Do the same on this side. There. So you're making, literally making a butterfly, um, if you like, without the pipe cleaner in the middle. Give it a few steps if you want, or keep it nice and soft and fluffy, whatever you prefer. Oh, fairy's fallen off her perch there. And then you could um, just fasten that onto the back of the fairy and give her little wings like that. So these wool tops are super, super versatile. Um, to get it onto her, you would just felt, literally felt into the center to fasten them on. Um, you can, whatever you prefer, but that just gives it really lovely. Um, wings on a fairy too so she's now got butterfly wings just give that a few stops that's not how you um, how what you will get in the wild rose fairy kit I will tell you that you will get um, the Angelina fiber in there to make her wings but um, that is just another way of um, of using these wool tops and um, we also have in our um, on our web shop we have got single color wool tops as well they're all packaged up as a massive big bag these are all purples and blues we've got reds there we've got pinks and um and there's probably loads of others and um you get um 10 of these 20 gram portions in there so um a butterfly you you don't need more than one or two grams but here you get um these lovely colors so you could make a whole uh, color themed um, array of butterflies um, these are also great for making fairies you get like I say these these are all uh, South American merinos so if you want to get away from the um, multicolored space dyed ones and just go for single colors you can do that too you could also if you're making butterflies you could add a little bit of Angelina fiber into the wings as you're making um, the butterfly I'm just using a, a plain colored top here and to do that you just literally add the Angelina fiber into the into the wool like that you can lay it on the top and then just fold the wings in pinch them as you've done before put the pipe cleaner around it like that Separate the wings if you want. And you can leave it like that. So you've got quite a, a nice sort of sparkly butterfly there. I don't know if you can see it. Or you can um, felt it down. The Angelina fiber will sort of integrate. Oh, God. She obviously hasn't learned to fly yet. I'm going to put her on, on, a, on a separate, um, in a separate place here so that she can. Um, oh, God. That was an old sign that just fell down just as well because it's it, it's not no longer valid so don't use that anyway maybe you didn't even notice it um so i'm stabbing this down a bit i'm keeping this quite round and the angelina fiber sort of just finds its own way into the wool 
and it just adds a little bit of sparkle to it there so you've got another variety of a butterfly here it's endless what you um, can do what you want to mix into it how you want it to look um, whether you add these little um, antennae into it or whether you just use the pipe cleaners um, if you've got pipe cleaners at home already if it's part of your normal craft stash then just use those you don't need the extra strong pipe cleaners you can use any kind of pipe cleaners for this so you might already have got some in your in your craft room or in your craft box whatever you keep in there um, and um, it does definitely work best with wool tops though you could be using wool bats as well but I think the wool bats just don't look as as, um, as fine and delicate as the wool tops so there's another one that can be added to the tree of butterflies and if you are making a mobile if you have a little find a little branch or anything like that I think um, I've always made mobiles with just with natural branches just hang them up next to each other bit by bit like that and because they're so light and have all the strings different length that makes a um, makes a really nice um, variation so they're not all the same height and they don't get into um, into trouble with each other um, then hanging them up side by side like this you can have a lovely mobile um, swinging in the breeze um, and and just yeah whether it's for a child or just for yourself I think we all become children anyway again when it comes to pretty things like that so that's basically um, all there is to be said about butterflies and um, I just have another quick look at um, what you got writing I wonder if I can sit on top of there or if that's too heavy for that flower vase might be ah stay oh I think it's gonna fall over ah borderline nah <laughs> it's going it's going oh I know I'm just going to put that underneath it there that's better okay a bit of tape always works in all kinds of disguises push that over the screen a bit there you go so what else are you um chattering away here so happy with um we will have a diverse fairy for august excellent yes absolutely i made her today she's um i should have brought her downstairs she looks really nice really nice um, but you will see her remember that on Wednesday which is the first I'm going to open all the uh, subscription boxes and show you what's in and there will be a preview to next month as well so you will see all the things that are coming up um, on the first of um, the first of each month which reminds me you have got two days left to get your amazing butterfly picture eh? to go with the butterflies it's all about butterflies this month um and um yeah that definitely needs ordering if you haven't got it yet um and then after that it's going to be dachshunds so we'll talk about them on wednesday and the um the flower fairy for this month is still the forget me not fairy which has been one of you don't know how many we've got left but if you haven't got it yet you better get your order in quickly before it goes we only make so many and then when they're gone they're gone um, though we do offer the instructions so you could make up your own but of course all the accessories we put in there like little flowers birds and so on they they won't um, obviously be part of that um, now I just had a thought it's, I know so if you um, you can also make butterfly butterfly sticks if you have a, um, a wire we sell these green um, paper covered florist wires they're really really stiff and so you could just put the butterfly you can just thread the wire straight into that part of the butterfly and you could um, have them like this and then stick them into plant pots I think that's a really nice idea as well so you, they don't have to be um, hanging down they can also just be on a stick and um, and positioned into plant pots or in the garden or wherever you want to put them if you felt them down and they get wet it doesn't really matter because they're already felted so that's another idea um, and I'm just having to put that somewhere now I can go there so many butterflies everywhere um, it's like it's like 
yeah it's just really lovely actually so if anybody else has got any question questions fire away um yeah you can put ladybirds on the branches as well we have got a free ladybird tutorial as well um oh hi jane she's a bit late got held up hopefully um something nice held up and not bad alicia says so happy oh yeah that's right alicia with a with a diverse fairy for august um hi jane better late than never nice to see you definitely i agree lizzie um emma says don't forget steffi is next on youtube this wednesday at 2 p.m that's that is the july subscription boxes oh I, I said that before i needed to be reminded and you'll see more of the wild rose fairy plus dachshund trio too excellent cannot wait for the dachshund trio harm i can't wait to introduce them to you properly um diane um emma says diane it really is a special box coming up i am going to steal my mum's just so i can make it she will get to keep the dachshunds of course i think that's a really good deal actually your mum has got there um helen says fold the wings in half and stab either side of the pipe cleaner makes the wings stand up oh perfect i'm gonna try that now so if you want um the butterfly to be less flat what um Helen says is let's use the three needle felting tool stab them in the center because that will bring the wing up slightly so that they are less flat but more like they're sort of folded and you can probably do that on the other side as well like that so you can oop, once just come off the branch so you can go into the side beside the pipe cleaner and then instead of it being really um, flat it looks more like it's a butterfly that's about to take off it's probably not the best shape to do that with but i totally get what you mean um helen that's a really good idea so you can make the butterfly more realistic looking like it's even with its wings together and i think that works particularly well if you've got a flat butterfly like a needle felted um a flat needle felted one where you can sort of stab it into the side by the side of the wings like that that's probably why it fell off the tree because it wanted to say try on me i'm a better shape there you go so you have a um, a butterfly that is slightly um oh this one is going for a skydive there so the butterfly we i totally understand what you're saying so we, you have it more like it's about to take off or it's got the wings closer together and um just haven't got that thread on there the right way it's um clearly one that wants to go right up into the sky and then come down again some other time falling off the tree in fact so that's a really good idea if anybody else has got anything to add because you've had a uh, um a lot of you have had lo a lot a long time to play with these already then um please feel free to oh god this is definitely now <laughs> oh dear i need to just adjust that thread going down a bit come on ah that's better right there we go um what the yeah the the tops are definitely bargain 200 grams for 18 pounds alicia says my husband is not going to be happy when i make him put hooks in the ceiling of the craft room to hang all my stuff up oh can't you hang can't you put hooks in the ceiling yourself then he won't be any the wiser um diane says thank you for the beautiful butterfly tutorial looking forward to july subscription box thank you um pet blanket preview tomorrow on facebook um, is this at 2 p.m., Emma? Um, that's a good question. I've no idea. I normally do the previews at um, 12 p.m. So I think it's probably around that time. Perfect idea for party decorations. In fact, let's make it 12 p.m. Perfect idea for party decorations and little party kits. Moena says, bird legs I ordered from you have just a post. Thank you so much. And Jane says, yes, little Charlotte on WhatsApp video. That's a perfect reason to be late for here and um oh yes and of course helen um yes i gathered up um as i was doing it you can you fold it in half first and then stab it on the underneath um a lovely way to spend a wet afternoon thank you steffi well you're very welcome lynn and um and donna also says great idea helen so i'm gonna um love you and leave you now because i've wasted the first few minutes 
by just being a complete um, idiot again and um, talking to myself, which obviously I enjoy. So I will, um, yeah, I will definitely see you all on, on Wednesday for the un veiling of the makers boxes so and um and just just come and join in and as usual i'll give you tips and tricks on on the projects as well and um tomorrow i'm giving you um a small taster of how you could make the pet blanket for your um dachshund trio so they can all be cozy and have nice and warm feet to stand on um so yes we've decided 12 o'clock for that and what is this pet blanket? Ah, easier, easier. I'll show you, I'll show you. I just need to. So the pet blanket, oh dear, this is when I need to lean out of the chair and at the at the risk of toppling over. The pet blanket is a is a woven blanket like that. And um you don't need um a weaving frame for this. Um all you need is a card bit of cardboard and I will give you a taster for that. Um because that would be great if you want to make a nice pet blanket for one of your dachshunds to stand on so um but i'm jumping ahead and uh, for tomorrow so this is on facebook at 12 pm on our makers facebook page and so be, be sure to tune in and then i will give you a little preview of the pet blanket and what you might need to make that one and in the meantime Hopefully you've got, still got fun making all these butterflies and putting them into order or maybe onto a, um, a branch like I did. Um, oh, Hannah's beating you. I, well, I'm guessing that's not beating you as in beating you up, but just beating you with the number of butterflies um, that she's got. I'm never an idiot. Thank you, um, Alicia. Um, oh, we love you. Oh, I love you too. And, um, and... Asku, oh, that's a new name. A butterfly is in my house right now, and I'm scared. Oh, don't be scared. Um, they're they're not they're they're really really um not not at all scary. Um, you could you could put a little bit of sugar in the dish with with water, like sugar water, and it might just have a drink or open all your windows and set it free. Um, sometimes they get quite exhausted that you can even let it walk onto your hand. I rescued one in the car park the other day because it was really tired and I put it into the hedge where there were flowers. And um, the butterflies are perfect for little hands. Glue and glitter. Thank you, Steffi and Emma. Oh, perfect. And um, yes, yeah, so don't be scared um, of the butterfly. They um, And you just have to make sure you don't touch their wings because they have these dust, dust bits on there that they. it's quite important for them to fly and to live. Anyway, that's all from us today. Take care, everybody. Um, stay safe and um, just keep crafting. Keeps your soul lifted, keeps your mind occupied, keeps your hands busy. And at the end of the day, you create something beautiful that maybe not just you will uh, get pleasure from, but other people too. So um, that's all from me. Take care. See you soon. Bye.